Hello everyone, welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. I was about to, in between episodes, read a load of books. Um, obviously, we left the last episode hungry and tired, so I don't think I'm going to get through too many books before we get either too hungry or too tired to read anymore. But before I do that, I thought I should probably explain how reading works. First of all, capital R, that is the start menu, <laughs> capital R uh, gives you an option to read. These are the books I've got on me, these are the books in the shopping cart which I brought with me. We are in our waypoint, no, the other one. We're in our base, at home away from home, our, our, you know the word I'm thinking of. Anyway, I forget it every time. I've brought a few books with me, but not very many. I've read this book, um, I've skimmed it, and we can have a look over here and see what it does. We skim outdoor adventures to find out what's in it. It can bring a survival skill to one. Well, we already know that our survival skill is, in fact, more than one. It's nearly three, so that's actually really good. Unfortunately, this means this book basically has no value to us, except it may contain recipes that we haven't learned yet. So all books, well most books, I believe all books have um, survive, uh, not survival, some skill that you can train up to a certain level, but some of them require a minimum level to be able to read it in the first place, because if you don't have that level, you're not smart and if you don't understand the words, it's very simple. Um, but they also have recipes in them. We may not know all of the recipes. We don't necessarily learn a recipe just because we get our survival skill to a certain level, I think. Nevertheless, there are always going to be some recipes that you can learn from books. And if you have the book nearby, you can craft that recipe even if you haven't learned it yet. And in doing so, you stand a chance to memorize the recipe so that in future you don't need to have the book, which means you can make it out in the field, for example. Some of these are really useful, like you know, these uh, different types of tea will affect your morale. So if you're having a particularly bad time out there, make a nice cup of tea, your morale will go up and you'll actually be able to fight without giving up all the time, for example. Currently, we have um, quite a decent amount of morale. We're on plus 30, but with smiley face, we've seen happy face and we've seen super happy face before, so we could do better. And the morale you're at will affect how easily you can read a book. Um, the focus basically will go down as your morale goes down and you will find it harder and harder, it will take longer and longer to read a chapter of a book, and the chapter of the book increases your, your, your skill level by a certain amount. So you read this book, you can read it until we get our survival to one. So let's have a look at something like cooking on a budget. This can bring your cooking skill to three. Our cooking skill is currently, that's not right, at symbol, um, one. So if we read this book, eventually it will get to three. It takes 10 minutes to read a chapter, but it takes multiple chapters to increase your cooking skill. So uh, It also contains a quern and a charcoal spell. Oh, quern is again. Now you see this is now probably yellow, I'm going to guess. That looks like green. So that's call that yellow. I believe yellow means that there are recipes in it, but you can't learn anything. No, you can't train anything. And in this one is blue. It means you can learn something, i.e. you can train your cooking and probably there are recipes in it too. When it goes grey, you can learn nothing at all from it, but it's entirely up to you whether you want to be so uncivilised as to burn the books for, you know, survival purposes, or whether you're going to try and maintain the last vestiges of humanity for potential future generations of survivors, because you never know if there's anybody else out here trying to get along just as you are. And indeed, probably your next carriage is going to come along and find these books anyway, so it's up to you whether you're going to delete the world and try again, but you know, role play it your own way. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life or anybody else's. So I'm going to read these books off camera and then I'm going to add this three, four minutes of footage to the start of the episode, which I might forget about and then introduce anyway. So in a minute or rather zero seconds for you, I'll see you. But in between now and then, I'm going to read this book, probably have a sleep, probably eat some food and we'll come back. I have been hanging out in my house perfectly happily uh, just now you will have come back from me having previously said that I was going to do some reading and I ran out of things to read in the other house. So I had a little bit of a wander back down to the main base, ran a cropper of an electric zombie who we managed to just about defeat but we got back to this house uh, via this trail of <laughs> shopping carts that we still remember being there. Um, uh, it, a little bit the worse for wear. We are still in mild pain as a result of it, which means our speed is low, and we are going to have trouble stabbing this skeleton. Is that a skeleton? It's a decayed, this decayed zombie who has gone to the trouble of smashing through our barricaded window, even though all I've been doing is just moving bits from here to there. I've, I'll show you what I've done in a bit. 
But I honestly, this is very rude. So I've brought you back to show you that despite the fact that we... I, I've been grabbed. Just kill it. Uh, despite the fact that we have done our level best to keep this place ship shape as good as possible and just, you know, barricade it properly, zombies have alternative ideas. So I'm going to board up this window here, despite the fact that I am my... Uh, heartbeat is going thump thump thump. I'm going to board it up. A s reinforce, reinforce, reinforce boarded window requires yet more two by fours. Um, so this is now boarded up again, but the blight had only gone and smashed all the glass shards. I was about to sit down here and continue reading, and I was going to light the fire with my campfire drill like this. At my skill level, by the way, it will take around five minutes to light a fire. Uh, and I heard a wham, and it said, do you want to stop? And I said, yes, goodness me. And there was wham, wham, wham around here, and all of a sudden, splinter glass. Not the best thing in the world, so we want to reinforce these ASAP. So my, my general goal, this is a little bit of a cramped area. Um, I do have, you know, you can see on the right, over here, when I'm pointing at it, you can see what things are in each place. But look at the number of things in that place. Look at the number of things in this place. Um, plus over here, there's another few piles of things. There's a pile of clothes on here. I've been sleeping in here because it's super safe. Well, as safe as I can make it. Um, I want to use this area, which is much bigger, to a better effect. Um, I'm still not sure if the thing that's downstairs is going to pop up and say hello. Hello, phone. Be quiet. Um, we will assume not because it hasn't yet. The other thing I should point out is that... Uh, well, I was going to say there were zombie hordes around here. Um, I said shush, phone. But they are not showing up right now, so I don't know if they're here or not. Don't know where that decayed zombie came from. We had run away from a few things just to get here, but I slept a little bit. When I arrived, I was in severe pain and I was very tired. I had a little bit of a nap. All my things are sort of fairly well healed by now. I'm very thirsty, so, you know, things are becoming a problem. We are going to want to continue to drink. We have a cold rotten apple which is not fun. We do still have some clean water and we can end clean in some water. Uh, there'll be some in the toilet. So we should probably fill up. Oh, that's a point. What is in our plastic canteen? We've got an empty canteen. So let's have a bit of water for now. I suspect that what's happening is that currently it's warm enough outside. Uh, I'm not running, am I? I am. It's probably warm enough outside that the water in the things are not frozen. Excuse me. Oh, I might as well pick those up or it's going to bug me each time. Container, canteen, container. I have no more containers. Fine. I'll take everything out of here because it's kind of bugging me that they all exist. Uh, and just leave them in a pile. This is our pile of chemically pharmaceuticals sort of thing. So we'll put the eye drop and the oxygen tank there, ready to be accidentally stood on and exploded, no doubt. And then over here we have rocks and things, so this can go here. I mean, I remember I was putting a lot of things in this bin. <laughs> uh, for now, we'll just continue as we are. Um, okay, so... Well, there's another pile of stuff there. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what's going where, which is why what I really want is to, first of all, watch TV. That would be grand. And then um, let's, whilst this fire is on, make some more clean water. So food, clean water. The only thing you need with um, clean water is you need something to boil it in. Usually an empty can. Something like that will work fine. Um, I can't... Oh, I see. Oh, I should have batched it. Right, right, right. That was my mistake. So what I should have done is... Um, if you use this menu and you press B on the thing that you want, we have enough clean water to make five of them. And when we are finished with that, we can pour it into the plastic canteen that we got it out of. Do not question this uh, mechanic. This is convenience and it's probably a little bit of a cheat because obviously if you can only boil one clean water at a time, you can't pour it into the thing you got it out of. 
unless you can boil five at a time. Uh, just don't worry about it. So I'm going to unload my uh, clean water here. Can I pour it into it? Yes. So now I should have a plastic canteen of clean water. It's hot. That's okay. Uh, we're not going to drink it right now. We are a bit hungry. We are a bit thirsty. And we're going to read a little bit more. I'm going to show you what I've done. See, I've got cooking on a budget and outdoor adventures are both now yellow. Uh, as far as you... I think that means that we now can use them for recipes, but not for learning. But we need to check in what's everything else. Alpha Male Quarterly has nothing to offer us, and obviously doesn't seem very good. However, it is plus one fun, so we can get some enjoyment from reading it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to read Archery for Kids, which could bring Archery to one. I'm going to read Beauty Magazine, which can bring Tailoring to one, which is actually really helpful. By the way, these are coming out of my shopping cart, which is right next to me, but they're staying in my inventory, so as you read them, you're going to find that A, they appear on the left there, and B, it fills up your inventory with stuff. So these are now grey. You can't learn anything from those. We can learn archery and tailoring, which might be good. We do want to learn archery. And the reason we want to learn archery is that we can then go hunting for small game, like turkeys and rabbits and things, which we can eat, because we are not a vegetarian. Uh, Glamopolitan is also cooking to one. We are fine on that. Marksmanship, we are fine on, because we're military recruits. We obviously learn to shoot things before we learn to do anything else. Uh, plenty of crafting recipes in this internal combustion fundamentals, but we can't understand it enough to learn more mechanics from it because we need mechanics for it in the first place, which is what I explained in a bit earlier on. And modern rifleman rifle skill. Do we have... Yes, we do have rifles to one. Let's see what we do have. Rifles is four, which is amazing. We should... I'm not too concerned about using them because if we use them, we make noise. I don't want to make too much noise unless we can... Some uh, sh sh shops... Some houses have basements which contain arsenals. Presumably the person who put together the arsenal in case of an apocalypse didn't realise that it was an apocalypse and they should now be using their arsenal. So they've left some things behind and that can contain things like suppressors and silences, etc. So if we do find that, we can maybe quieten down our rifle and start using it. But until then, maybe not. We could also attach our... I did. I do remember. Actually, I said we could attach our knife as a bayonet to our rifle, and then presumably wield the rifle. Maybe that can be a reach weapon. We should have a look at that ASAP. Uh, so we want tailoring. That's going to be really good. It can fix our clothing and make new clothing. Uh, computers it doesn't matter right now. Speaking, as far as I know, is completely useless because the game doesn't really have proper uh, NPCs. I, I don't even have them on in this run. So they. Um, so we're going we're to get a lot of these things up. Driving you will learn the hard way, undoubtedly. So let's continue reading. Anyone heard that? That's Jen, who was pretending not to be here for the longest time, and then made a noise. So you would fail your uh, stealth, your hunting uh, tricks. Trapping may be good. if we. Trapping is a thing. Hello. Prawn cocktail shells. Nom, nom, nom. Crunch, crunch. Can you hear that? Not really. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks for the prawn cocktail shells, Jen. So I'm going to drop all those back off in here because, of course, now I can't pick any more things up in order to read them, which is silly. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I read things, I just sort of put them back down again. Self-esteem for dummies is speaking to three. No one cares. US Weekly is speaking to one. Why? Under the hood, will teach us a bit of mechanics, which is great, because we don't need any uh, mechanics to understand it in the first place. What's the transistors? Electronics, also great. And then car buyer's guide, bartering. So I was going to say something, which is that if you have a look at all of these, they'll have capitalized names. They'll have title case names. Except for car buyer's guide, mostly, I believe apart from that specific example, This can bring your bartering skill to one. Do I already have it? My bartering skill is two. Why? What am I going to do? Talk to the vending machines and try and get a better deal? No. You'll notice that um, most of the ones that have lowercase names are things like this map uh, and books, just, just fun books, uh, fiction books, or not necessarily fiction, but why is that there? Pick these up. Um, books who's, who don't have any skill value but that one is a bit of an anomaly because 
it, it has a lowercase name but can teach me something. Luckily, it can't actually teach me anything because I'm amazing already and I can barter like the best of them. So let us read Archery for Kids. We will read it until we gain a level or hear something or the fire goes out. So you can see how fast the time is going up compared to how fast we're reading it. We're going to become very hungry and very thirsty. Our pain's worn off, which is nice because we've been sat down. In fact, if we have a look here, I was going to say it would say got comfy, but we didn't got comfy. Might be a bug. I might suggest that on the forum because you would expect that you can sit down and read a book and get comfy. If you create something, I think whilst perched on a chair, which we are, right? We are on a chair. Yes. Uh, you will get a perk for having had a nice sit down, which we should have got, but didn't. We're very hungry and very, tired, uh, very thirsty. We're only a little bit tired, so I'm not going to sleep just yet. Oh, the milk went off. Spoils in soon. So if I... Well, you can see this hasn't gone off yet because this is the stats that we get. It's gone yellow, but it's not gone red. Or oh, this horrible dark greeny brown colour, whatever that is. So we'll drink the milk while it's still okay. I'm good that we have... I'm glad that we have some... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> a decent idea of when milk's going to go off because me personally in real life no idea give it a sniff yeah that sounds fine here's an open tin of chicken noodle soup you can hear with your nose did i say sounds yeah yeah it sounds fine that <laughs> so you don't normally get this sort of feedback when recording for videos which is why when you watch other people do videos they say something and you're going what did you just say that doesn't make any sense and of course you realize you have to figure out what they meant but if they're trying to teach you something, you don't know what they meant because they are teaching you in the first place. I don't know what we can do with a rotten apple. Can we make compost? Maybe. Uh, we are very hungry, but not necessarily... A, a, a individual portion of pesto is more than half as nutritious as a portion of chicken soup. Chicken noodle soup. What sort of pesto do you have in America? Because... How much can you eat in one? And it's plus four joy. Have you ever tried eating as much pesto as you can eat chicken noodle soup? <laughs> Please let me stop. It's tasty in things and on pizza. Oh, pesto pizza. We should make pesto pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, mate. Anyway, uh, this is open because I ate it earlier. I wonder if I can heat it up. Let us activate our frying pan. Bang. And then we can... Stop laughing. Oh no, it's a different open tin can of chicken noodle soup. You can accidentally spill your chicken noodle soup. Try not to. I thought you just spilled. No, but when earlier on I had to alt F4 because I had a can of soup in my shopping in my cart, my shopping cart, and I heated it up, and I think it had six portions or I had two cans or something. And then I wanted to eat more of it, and all I could find was a spilled puddle of chicken noodle soup underneath my shopping cart. So always remember, which I forgot to do just now, to um, pull things into your inventory before you do anything, just in case, especially if you're going to do something other than just eat it. Um, we're still very hungry, though. That's a problem. Because uh, it could go horribly wrong. Can we cook these cattail rhizomes? What can we make? We can make starch. Calories, uh, good calories, less enjoyability, but it may be a step into something. You know, let's batch this. How much can make three starch? Oh, you've run out of blinking wood, haven't you? Get this here and get this here. Running out of two by fours. Um, not a big deal. There's plenty around, as we've said, but we would like to be able to uh, reinforce all our barricades. So we're going to have to go for a bit of a hunt for more uh, two by fours right now. But let's try making this starch again. If the fire on the flip side of being able to cheese your uh, your cooking of water so that it's not um, trying to make you use a billion different uh, uh, what am I saying? a billion different containers just to dodge from left to right I'm trying by the way I'm trying to find enough stuff to take off because I'm too warm sitting next to the uh, fire here. It's um, it's a bad amount of warm. Let's have a look. So my right leg and left leg are warm. Uh, it adds a bit of pain and slows me down. So I want to take off 
my army of winter pants. Yeah, let's do that. I thought I did that just now. So now, yeah, now I'm falling. Warm is falling, which means now that I'm not wearing those really heavy trousers next to a fire. Okay, so what was I saying? On the flip side of being able to craft a bunch of stuff and cheese the inventory dancing mechanics, if you run out of fire whilst trying to make something, you will not have made any of it. So, you know, it swings and roundabouts to some extent. We can make popcorn, we can make bird food. <laughs> Fancy hobo is, by the way, lemonade, beer, and a whiskey. A, a, a strong spirit. Fruit leathers will simply help you um, extend the life of... Food is perishable and at room temperature has an estimated nominal shelf life of six years. So the fruit that would go off is now going to not go off, but we can only make one of them because we don't have enough sugary stuff. So let's um, let's do it with the apple and then eat the banana. The banana. Pesto says it's going to go off, but I don't think it will. Well, I've got bread as well, so I can make a sandwich. That seems like a good idea. Uh, where's my banana? The fruit leather is rotten. You let me make a rotten fruit leather. Okay. Why would you do that? I'll eat this banana because it will make me feel good. Enjoyed irradiated banana. Alright, I'm going to drop my fruit leather onto the fire. Because heck you. Get off mommy. Yes. Get yeah, better. Leather. Where is it? <laughs> Inventory? Be careful of acrid smells having influence on your character effect. Uh, acrid smells, no. Unless it's modelled as a cloud of something. Like a cloud of sparks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or something more. more uh, at the same time, better and worse than a fart would be the you know, a smoker zombie or a bloated zombie. Actually, a bloated zombie is probably just like ultra fart <laughs> in a can. Uh, let's continue to create things. What about good smells? Good smells? That's a good point, actually. It would be nice if you could sort of craft an air freshener out of a field of lavender or something. So when you went into your house, you get a, a, a morale boost from... Well, I can make a pesto sandwich. Okay. I'll eat my boring sandwich. And I'm now just hungry again. Uh, let us read... Oh. What? Why can't... Too big to pick up. So now we have to drop... <sighs> Let us uh, unwield this and put it in our sheath so now we can pick up. So here's a, a bug that I've reported. I have nothing in my hands, but you can't pick up any of the books without um, actually picking it up. So we want to read tailoring. Let's wield it. And then we can read it because we've already picked it up. Uh, basically, you have to be able to stash it in your inventory in order to read it. Kind of makes sense. You're feeling tired. I will stop reading simply because if you get to dead tired and try and read, it will take you so long. You will basically be giving up all night long. So uh, let's put this back in here. Um, I'm going to put on these things again. The reason I'm going to put them on is if we have to run away, I would like to have been prepared for that. I think that's everything. Let's have a look at our... Um, why are these yellow? Because I have two things strapped to my torso. Oh. So these are a problem. It's telling you about things that are a problem. That's actually new. So I'm going to drop my binoculars. This is probably what was no, uh, a problem earlier when I was not recording, trying to beat the heck out of the ooh, beat the heck out of the zombie. Uh oh. Um. I should have eaten something. Let's eat something before we go to bed. Uh, trying to beat up that zombie. I was failing to hit it, probably. Believe it or not. Because um, I had too many things on. Let's make another boring sandwich. Boring sandwich. Why can't I create a boring sandwich? Not enough bread. I have some breads. There's only one bread left. Just eat it. What else have we got with thing? Nutrition. Eat some Toto chips. We're happy about this. And see, I'm looking at this first column. A portion of red sauce, which I'm going to guess is like, ketchup is not a brand name, you can say it, um, is both enjoyable and highly nutritious. 
Also, I have a bottle of noodle. That's what I did. When I restarted the game, having run a cropper of the bug of chicken noodle soup, I poured it into this plastic bottle. <laughs> um, I did it properly, made sure we had a bottle of soup. Uh, not ampersand. Dollar for sleeping. Yes and save. I'm going to sleep until I'm no longer tired. I shall completely heal. And be quite hungry and thirsty, but... I'll be raring to go. I'll be well up for this apocalypse. We will take the small area of the zombie infested world by storm, but they won't know because they will be sort of roaming around with their arms sticking out going Burr, and not necessarily entirely appreciating how much effort I'm putting into this. So, um, yeah, I think about it. Maybe the zombies aren't really gonna care too much so maybe I shouldn't take it so much by storm as just by you know very careful steps oh, I meant to do that there we go I'm just moving all this stuff out of here because it's nice to have a little pile of it uh, we can take this purse apart for leather which is going to be helpful and I'm putting all those stuffs on this table uh, no I don't want that I want this the string is going to be helpful for, of course, this way, this way, yes. Uh, we can pull it apart and turn it into thread, which is going to be something I'm going to want to do. Why is my... Ah! So what, have a look here. What's basically happened is when I took all those clothes off because I was dying of heat, I dropped all the things. I have an alarm clock? I know I had an alarm clock before, but what did I have? Like, my alarm clock's here on this table. Um... So what's happened here is that I've dropped it all on the table when I put my coat and trousers on the table. So I need to pick it all up again in order to continue to read it. Archery for kids can now no longer teach us to archer, but we can use that for practice. And we may have a uh, recipe in there that will allow us to, um, to, to create a bow, which will be great. I'm going to put all this in the fridge, even though the fridge doesn't work. Starch, plant fiber. I'm going to put the campfire drill down here in this... Uh, no, that goes in my shopping trolley because I want that with me all the time. And then... I think in the next episode we're going scavenging for wood. <laughs> Jen, funny? I said wood. Go Go giggle. She giggles when I say wood. Now she's pretending to be better than that. Right, there's plenty of wood ash. Can we, we can make soap with wood ash eventually, but not right now, unfortunately. Uh, we can make sweet water, which uh, is more enjoyable and has more calories than normal water, but notice that clean water itself has more quench than sweet water, but it's not as enjoyable. So if you want to have a little bit of um, morale on the go and you have not yet found a bag of cocaine, you can just have sweet water. I will drink this clean water because I was quite thirsty. I'm still thirsty and I would like to be able to make tea. I haven't found any tea bags yet. So maybe on our uh, on our journey for yet more 2x4s, we can also find some tea bags. There's houses here we haven't looked at. There's this garden that I've been avoiding. And I think this thing here is a radio tower. Yeah, it's a radio station. station. There's a gym. And then there's our outpost over there. So... This seems like a good thing to continue to do. Hopefully we won't come a cropper of any further zombies. And I may do a little bit of reading between episodes. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you're learning stuff. And I hope I didn't go er uh, too many times. And I certainly hope I didn't say basically. But until the next episode, thanks for watching. And I'll see ya.